Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zonky here. Um, welcome to the next episode of the Road to Max Cape. I believe this is episode 5. So anyway, what we're going to talk about in this episode, well, I have some clips that are coming up, but before we have any clips come up, I just wanted to say um, I did, in fact, transfer money from my main over to this account, and a lot of people kind of had some qualms about that. They did not agree. And I just wanted to say I gave it all back to my main account. So, um... If and when I do max on this account, it will only be through money made on this account. Um, so as you can see, I am still 85 Herblore. I sold the Herblore supplies that I had, uh, and I'm not going to use them. I only have about 7 mil cash on this account, uh, which is how much I had before I transferred any money over. Um, and in the GE, I also have a the last few more Meyer Funguses that are selling, and that will be another oh, 1.5 mil or so once those are done selling. So we'll go through my bank really quick because uh, I don't believe I did a bank update in the last episode. Um, so yes, we'll just go over really fast. Uh, I've been, I now have the Charm Collector, uh, which I'm very excited about. So that's going to make Slayer a lot easier, and I'm planning on actually starting a bit of Slayer now since I have most of the things that I wanted before I started Slayer, um, including the Charm Collector, and I'm also going to be buying a Bandos Godsword. Um, this is my Slayer tab. I sold most of the stuff in here and got rid of the money, um, but these all are drops achieved on this account. Um, I did get, in fact, a shield left half, which is kind of a troll. Um, I believe that was from Turoth, so that was a bit random. Um, and that is my bank. That is everything. Uh, as you can see from my gear tab, I do need to buy quite a bit more gear because I just don't have very much at the moment. I don't even have a pair of boots. I'm wearing desert boots. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about before we got into the clips is, honestly, what is with the Batwing? Um, as you can see, this clearly would not give very good protection if you're actually trying to wear this as armor. This is Jags just trying to make the close of the game uh, have more sexual appeal, and I really don't like that. That kind of bothers me, uh, how the Batwing looks on female characters. I am a female character in this game because I always prefer to play as females in video games. It kind of makes sense to me since I'm a guy and I prefer females over males. Um, and I'd rather look at a female character than a guy character. Uh, that might not make sense to everyone, but it makes sense to me. So, the Batwing is a bit ridiculous. Uh, I really don't like it. I wish they would change it. But anyway, that's about all. Um, I'm going to start some Slayer, and you guys are going to start watching some clips of some levels that I have achieved lately. So here are the levels that I have achieved during the past uh, week and a half or so. It has been a little while since I made an episode on this account, um, mostly because I have been PVMing on my main account, as you could probably tell from my uploads lately. I have been doing a lot of PVM, and I've also been playing RS a little bit less. So anyway, uh, I had to do a bit of mining because I had actually two daily challenges where I had to fill up 13 mining urns, and that was one of the most annoying things I've ever done in my life. Uh, mining iron, it took absolutely forever to fill up the decorated mining urns, and actually when I did the second challenge, I decided to mine granite, and that took a long time as well. Um, but other than mining, probably the most thing that I did on this account during the past week or so was Dungeoneering. I got all the way up to level 76 Dungeoneering, as you'll see in a little bit, and I did get my Charm Collector, so that's really cool. Um, here's me turning in that first extremely annoying, actually that's the second extremely annoying mining challenge, my bad. Uh, and that was 68 mining, which is great because I never have to do non-AFK mining again, because 68 mining is what you need for the Lava Flow mine. So uh, whenever I need to mine again, I will finish the Dwarven quest line, and I will go and gain access to the Lava Flow Mine, and I'll work on that. So that's really cool. Um, I also got one of those Dungeoneering challenges. Uh, it's awesome when you get those when you're not 99 Dungeoneering, because they give so much XP, and they really help. Uh, and there was 70 Slayer. That was a pretty big milestone for me. Um, I figured I'd include that in there. So I unlocked Karasks now. Um, and I only need five more levels to use Kurdo. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the combat level requirement is on the Slayer for Kurdo, uh, to use Kurdo as a Slayer Master, um, but hopefully I'll be able to start using her pretty soon instead of Simona, because Simona is a bit annoying and I don't really like her very much. Um, but anyway, here is more Dungeoneering. Um, I believe I have a couple more Dungeoneering clips. So this is 73. Of course, it's an odd floor, so that unlocks another floor. Uh, that, I believe, unlocked my second occult floor, so that was really nice. I was actually able to do a few floors on World 77 on larges, uh, and that really helped a lot. Uh, and speaking of helping a lot, also uh, those construction daily challenges really help a lot because they save a lot of money um, in training construction, so I don't have to spend money on planks or anything like that. 
Um, this next one here is Herblore, that was 75 Herblore, and right after that I sold my Herblore supplies, so I did no more Herblore after 75, um, but I'm content with 75 Herblore for the moment, and here is another 75 skill, 75 Dungeoneering, uh, and 76 Dungeoneering, um, so that was pretty good as well, and then this is my last farming level, 79 farming, I'm actually very, very close to 80 farming at the moment, so I should be getting that tomorrow morning, uh, pretty excited about that, because farming is a bit of a slow skill, just because it takes a lot of time. Um, and here I got actually the lamp of the djinn off the School of Fortune. I actually got the lamp itself. I didn't make it out of the parts. I guess I just got lucky. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot of XP from it because most of my stats were still pretty low. Um, and this lamp, I actually got it last week. Uh, not Well, last episode, not this episode, but I completely forgot to include it in last episode. Um, so that was pretty epic, getting the lamp of the djinn. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's all for this episode, and I'll be back in a few days or so with another one. And stay tuned.